So I'm sitting in traffic and I thought to myself, traffic sucks. So everyone deals with traffic. It might have bad traffic. You might have horrible traffic, but what does it do to your life? So I work 30 miles away from my home and my wife works about 60, maybe 50, 60 miles away. So the commute is 30 to 60 miles each way every day. And traffic is always horrible in Atlanta, especially on Highway 400 and 285. If you're from Atlanta, you know traffic is very unpredictable. But what does traffic do to you in terms of fatigue, right? So I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm fully awake. I have my coffee, my little breakfast uh, to get my energy going. But you kind of lose that edge in terms of energy by sitting in traffic for uh, two hours at a time. And I tried to, you know, circumvent traffic coming in very early to work, like being there at 6 to 6.30 in the morning, which means I wake up at like 4.30 in the morning. And I come home and it's about 45 to an hour, which is not so bad. But over time, that does something to you. It, it causes fatigue. It's not like you're working two jobs. It's not like you're uh, doing strenuous work, manual labor, but it fatigues you over time. And I eventually gave up of trying to avoid the traffic and just deal with it. And now that I'm in the midst of the traffic every day, I empathize with more people than I used to empathize with, with traffic. So how do you deal with traffic? Do you listen to music? Do you listen to audiobooks? Do you listen to podcasts maybe that keep your attention away from the irritation of traffic? How about um, what if you listen to music? What is your favorite music? I like to listen to podcasts uh, for my taste or maybe like talk radio like sports or NPR. Uh, some listen to, uh, you know, audiobooks, and some listen to music, traditional radio, like morning shows. Anything is, is fine as long as you take your stress away from the traffic that you're in. You're more likely to not have road rage. And you're more likely to maybe have a little bit of energy left when you reach your destination. So, if you're in the Atlanta area and you deal with traffic, let me know how you feel. Here's another thing that I've realized. Driving safety. Uh, you know, they tell you not to text and drive or do anything with your mobile devices while you're driving, which might cause distraction. Um, you know, it's easier said than done. Uh, because when I used to leave early and avoid traffic in the morning, I would never touch my phone. And especially long trips, never touch my phone. Uh, just because I wanted to be safe. But since I've been sitting in traffic every morning, uh, it's kind of hard to avoid not touching a device if you're just sitting at a still for about five minutes at a time. You get bored. You think, oh, maybe I can pay this bill real quick. Maybe I can text this person real quick. Maybe I can, you know, switch to another song or look for something real quick. Uh, maybe I need to check an email or or. God forbid, Facebook. <laughs> Who checks Facebook in traffic? A lot of people do. And I think that's what the, the main issue with traffic, either not moving, people not paying attention, or getting into accidents. So how, how do you avoid putting yourself at risk in traffic? I think that's a big question. Not how do you deal with traffic per se, but how do you avoid hitting someone or... Uh, causing traffic to be worse by you not paying attention when you're supposed to make a turn or something or, or move or or you're blocking someone from merging or or, or what is that? Another thing I want to know maybe is your pet peeve of traffic. Like those people that know that they have to get over at the next exit in 0.2 miles uh, on a five lane highway full of cars and they just decide to cut all the way over. 
uh, how about the people that uh, speed? As soon as they realize they can, they can move, they press the gas and then they slam on brakes. How about the people that just don't pay attention to anything and are not on their mobile devices? Uh, maybe they fell asleep because they got bored. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of complex situations that could come into play, but please share your thoughts. This is interesting. Traffic is a is is a growing issue in more places than they ever were. Uh, road development, infrastructure, uh, widening streets, more cars on the road. Uh, it's all over the place, man. It's, it's the theory that you widen the lanes, you ease traffic, but apparently whenever they widen the lanes on any road more cars tend to uh tend to end up being on the street here's another thing uh, if you use ways or l- l- let's say this if you're in a neighborhood that didn't usually get a lot of traffic and you were fine commuting to work but now you are you are bombarded by cars uh, that have never driven on your street before because they use ways and they are taking that detour to avoid uh, the major traffic uh, stops. How are you dealing with that? Are you irritated? Uh, I know that if I was in those neighborhoods which never got traffic and now there's a lot of traffic, I'd be pissed. Like that changes your whole your whole timeline, right? Of getting ready and being to work and getting the kids ready or, or anything. Because you are so accustomed to, you know, zipping here and there and there and there and, and, and good. Now, you're just as bad as everyone else. So, traffic. Uh, I don't think anybody loves traffic. Except those that benefit from traffic. Like, maybe street signs that you pay more attention to. Advertisements. Maybe advertisements on radio because you're able to pay more attention. Maybe ads on your mobile device because you're able to click on them real quick because you have no place to go. Uh, but tell me how you feel about traffic, how you deal with it, what you listen to, how, you, how do you uh, avoid uh, road rage, uh, how do you stay safe, and how do you deal with the, the new traffic woes in your uh, in your living residential area? Holla at your boy, it's Charlie Maverick. I'll be back with more content. I'm glad to be back. Holla at your boy on uh, iTunes. It's the Mavcast audio blog and on Anchor FM. I appreciate you. God bless. Drive safe. Mm, Safer than I am right now. Thank you.